welcome to Hearts of Iron, but what if we were ruling over a nation that is completely inhabited by dogs in the middle of the North Sea? We're still ruled by a human, but eventually we can get our rightful king. The dog named Walter. I don't know what the law behind this mod is. There is no law. The only thing in the Steam community it said, please report bugs. But apparently we're somehow related to Denmark because we're taking back the islands. Also, we come from the Netherlands and Belgium because we have a woggle to puppet them as the mainland. While we do start with 7 million men on here, or dogs, I don't know, we have basically no resources. Okay, who the hell decided to give a bunch of dogs, a bunch of cruisers and destroyers? I refuse to believe that that is an actual word in like Dutch or something. I see, this is totally not overpowered. 25% factory output, 30% factory output. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna make these dogs the most productive workforce in the entire world, but sure. Not entirely sure how we're gonna switch to non-aligned, because for some reason the decisions for now referendums etc do not exist. Uh, I'm noticing a flaw. While we need to wait for the game to fire the event where you switch to monarchy, apparently our dogs can build a hydroelectric power dam. Not entirely sure where they got that knowledge from. Okay, I did a little bit of cheating because it wasn't switching and for now we have this old man leading our nation. We're gonna get you replaced with Walter really soon. And now I need to do four focuses that don't do anything. Amazing, I'm, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. <laughs> yeah, this mod is not that polished yet. <laughs> I am already going to prepare a little invasion of Denmark here. Before we can go to war, apparently we need to be friends with everyone, and for some reason, being friends with Sweden means we're reintegrating the railroads. I'm not sure where we're supposed to have a railroad here. We're kind of on a time crunch because if we take any longer, Germany will take over Belgium and the Netherlands, and I kinda need those. I can even get calls on it. Time to declare. And at the same time, we're already going to justify on Belgium and the Netherlands. Okay, the landing is working. I was kind of worried it wouldn't. We can finally do war propaganda, which means we hopefully can get some war support. Because we're still at civilian economy. We now own land in continental Europe. Amazing job, fellow dogs. And we stole the entire Danish navy, which means we're not twice as strong. Still no resources though. Denmark is not really known for its amazing amount of resources. This whole resource thing is getting worse and worse from what we conquer. <laughs> ah, amazing. And we're gonna pop at the Dutch East Indies though. We do not have enough doggos to garrison all of that. And instantly going for Belgium. While my army is very bad and only has a minimum amount of artillery, it is still good enough to beat the Belgians. This country is very cursed right now. But hey, after being in three wars, we can finally decide we're gonna mobilize. <laughs> we can finally go towards Walter. I think I'm gonna try to go for Sweden next. Only issue is we need to wait for Germany to do a bit more of hammering everyone in Europe. I like to just imagine that we're just forcing everyone in our colony to create dog bats and sending them back to Europe. Walter, he has arrived. Our rightful king. <laughs> imagine sitting in Belgium and being told this is who you have to worship now. Ah, and Germany is doing the kicking around in Europe. That means we can go into Sweden. Wonderful. A Walter angered by Swedish posturing. Come on, France. I gave you a victory on a platter. You literally just need to sit there and wait. That is all you need to do. Germany is trying to invade Norway. Not entirely sure how they're gonna do that. I kind of took over their launch position, so that will be very interesting. Now I have an epic meme planned when it comes to encircling all the Swedish troops that are here. I think this is the Germans trying to cross into Norway. As you can see, it's not really working out because usually they cross from here, where the British can't raid them. Issue is, here they can be raided. Let's see if my genius plan works. It actually did! I'm surprised by myself! Now that is one mighty dog park we can build on here. And Indonesia is willing to help out with garrisoning the dog park. And at the same time, I'm gonna ask Germany to sell me this little medium tank they have right there. Because I didn't research any tanks. Germany keeps throwing itself into the margin. Oh, they lost 240,000 men against France. France lost 13k. And hey, we can finally integrate the Benelux. Amazing. They are not gonna rebel against me anymore. They finally accept that they are dogs. And someone else who will have to accept that they are dogs is Finland. I love when the AI doesn't garrison anything. To be fair, they just had a major war with the Soviets. I don't think they have that many men left. Ah, nice stock park extension. I would like to take over Norway. They are kinda allied with, you know, the allies. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh! Now that might be an issue. 
God damn it, Norway is also in this. Oh yeah, let's quickly uh, move our navy away before it gets blown up by the British one. And I just noticed France didn't have any troops on my border. Amazing job, France! Ah, and apparently the Axis is going over an Atlantic tour right now. Not sure where they're going. Oh, they're going to... Oh, Africa, my colony. Yep, the dog bed production down here is gonna go away. Meanwhile, Norway, it is hell. I just wanna reiterate, I didn't want any of this. I just wanted Ireland. Gwalta is a peaceful dog. He just wanted to have all his dog beds. Oh yeah, also kinda justified on Spain, but uh, let's ignore that one. Once again, this is all because of Ireland. Oh, god damn it, the UK landing again. Ugh, you really are annoying. Oh, the German submarines, let's go. <laughs> Finally, we have a UK, and I'm already preparing a little troll face over here. If Germany doesn't die by then from the Soviets. While Operation Troll Face was a success, my navy is gone. And with gone, I mean gone gone, there's not a single ship left. Oh, uh, the UK is taking back the UK. I didn't really garrison any of this, so I just hope we kill the US before they have everything back. So close, only five more percent. But they're pushing me back, they assembled all their friends over here, they have the power of friendship and I don't... Please... <laughs> Chicago, is Chicago enough? Is it enough? Yes! They got the UK back. I am going to cry, I am going to cry, I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry, 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 cry. I have been fighting with Italy over Savoy in this peace conference for like 50 years. Ah, oh, finally they gave up. Oh my god. Doggerland reigns supreme. I just noticed. What? Wait, when did I join the war of the Soviets? Uh, Doggerland reigns supreme for now, unless they take away all the northern states. Now, there are two things which I'm questioning. Why are all the German divisions basically dead, and where are the Soviet divisions? Never mind, I found them. Apparently, Albania and Greece deserve 7 to 3 tank divisions per tile, while the Soviet mainland deserves 1 per tile. What is this AI? I'm sending my troops back to Europe, and I will have to cheat a little bit to declare war on this man, because I don't remember ever joining this war. Now, it's time to do a bit of cheating. We faction, declare war. Go rush, rush in. Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice they were guarding the coastline. Oopsie. Ah, doesn't matter. Take Berlin, shoot Hitler, that is all I want. <laughs> yep, the Soviets are now completely pushing back. Me declaring one of them kinda gave them the last shot. I have played this game for way too long. I'm just gonna uh, take this tank. Woohoo, guys, we made it to Berlin. We shot it. What? I don't think this tank is doing okay. We can say Mr. Walter here captured Berlin. Honestly, that's the least of his achievements. He managed to... I, I didn't look over what happened here after the peace deal. And uh, this man is not even a puppet. <laughs> they just made America fascist, at least the west side of it. Oh, and I can join the Chinese United Front. Sure, China. <laughs> Walter's gonna be in there. This mod should be a bit more polished, but I see it has potential. Ruling a nation of dogs, I can see the appeal of it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day.